This site, so, so beautiful. Phuket is such a beautiful island, such a good first impression of Thailand in general. We are Danny and Nikki, and after traveling for more than eight months, we finally made it to Thailand. We're going to Thailand! After a travel day of more than 30 hours, we are starting in one of the more famous islands of Thailand, Phuket. The largest island here in Thailand. It's known for its beaches, island hopping, culture, and food. But first, we're gonna go and get some breakfast. Oh, can't wait for some Thai food. All right, so we're extremely jet lagged. We flew over 30 hours and across the world, but we're so excited to see Phuket that we're just gonna suck it up. We're actually staying here in Phuket Old Town. Uh, almost slipped, but there's a lot to do here. Yes, it's more colonial style buildings here, lots of culture and street food. We're also gonna visit a night market tonight to see what that's all about. But we're hungry, we're on the hunt for some food, so we're gonna just walk around and see what we can find. Found this little place, it's like a street food area. Uh, Nikki just pointed to the menu and we have food now. So I don't know what it what it is, but it looks delicious. Let's try it out. So there, I'm surely pronouncing it wrong. Poke noodles, chopsticks, obviously. Um, it's just some uh, noodles with eggs and uh, vegetables and, and meat. It's so delicious. How will, how much did this all cost? Uh, 120 baht together. Which is which is like. Four dollars. Four dollars. Yeah, I noticed they ask you here, how hot do you want it? Because it can get really hot, but you may not be used to it. So uh, we always tell them just a little bit. And it's still kind of hot. So I ordered this coffee and it came with, it's like coffee, tea, eggs, and like some type of toast. I'm not sure what this is or why I got it in this order. So if you know, let us know in the comments. So I think I'm just gonna put the eggs on the toast and drink the coffee. So I will drink the tea. Uh, it's like some type of herbal tea, maybe jasmine. And so Denny has coffee and they put condensed milk in it. So it's a very thick layer on the bottom and it's very sweet. I've actually never tasted it before. Ooh. That's my coffee now. Good, very sweet. Maybe this is like a easy, light breakfast here. Tea, coffee, and some eggs, I don't know. <laughs> but this has been a really fun experience to um, kind of like walk around and find something where you can eat and try some new foods and you don't know the language, you don't know the, the what do you call that? Sanskrit letters here, so it's a really cool experience. People are incredibly nice though, so nice. that delicious breakfast we're now just walking around the town and we learned some Thai words this morning and we forgot all of them all just of like it. the hellos the thank yous the sorries so yeah we're gonna do better with that but it's a bit cloudy today doesn't matter because it helps with the heat and we're just gonna explore what the old town of Phuket looks like lots of motor scooters uh, lots of food shops and clothing shops and it's very cozy. It's a lot going on, I feel like. Almost lost my toes. <laughs> but the one thing that I can't get here in Phuket is riding on the wrong, on the other side of the road. I want to say the wrong side, but I'm always looking the wrong direction and almost get killed. All right, so we're entering the market. I feel like this used to be a little bit more thriving, uh, but they got a lot of fruits, vegetables, chickens, anything you want. So let's go check it out. So Phuket town is more of the local part of the town. It's the oldest part of the city. Uh, this is has a more local vibe. So you'll find more uh, local restaurants here and cheaper prices. So this is where you can come and get your great food. But now we're gonna try to head back to our hotel and hop on a motorbike. 
Yeah, so this looks like just a fresh vegetable market. Uh, very local. I think this is just where the neighboring restaurants get their fresh vegetables from. So this is a, a nice market to explore. We always like to explore markets when we're in a new place. So this was a, a small one, but very nice. So now we're gonna head on to another location in Phuket. to the big Buddha. Traffic can be a little crazy here, so definitely wear helmets. It's about a 15 minute ride, so it shouldn't be too long. All right, so we've made it to Wat Chalong, probably said that wrong, temple. Here is where locals come to pray and pay respect to the monks here. It's absolutely beautiful it's bigger than i expected it seems to be a big um, area with several temples you see people praying lighting incense and it's a beautiful serene place we also prepared for this trip <laughs> by taking long pants uncomfortable a little bit it's really hot it's too hot <laughs> to be wearing jeans our first temple in asia first temple in Asia guys and it's beautiful and, and like you might be like well it's you know it's just a temple if you've been to Asia a bunch of times but after watching videos and thinking about coming to Thailand for three years to be standing in front of our first temple temple is just amazing feels so good <laughs> so let's walk around <laughs> in Asia is a success. Yeah. It's very, very beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> People are praying inside. It's very serene and peaceful. Very peaceful. It makes it feel a little awkward to vlog inside a religious site. But okay, we got in trouble a bit. We were standing outside the temples and here in uh, Thailand, like uh, public displays of, of affection are not really done, no. um, I guess. Uh, definitely not in temples. And so Nikki gives me a kiss and this Thai guy, he, he comes up to us, he's really upset, yeah. one of the workers he's here. Like, no kiss, no kiss. And <laughs> I just happened, I didn't think about it. So lesson learned. But these are these are kind of you know, the things you get into when you first go to a new country and culture and religion and you really don't know, you almost don't know what's appropriate and what's not. But yeah. it's, it's a beautiful spot. Mm -hmm. Definitely recommend it if you're in Phuket. But now we're gonna go to the largest Buddha here See, in Phuket. You me. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna go to the largest Buddha here in Phuket. We have made our way over to the big Buddha, which is exactly what the name says a really large Buddha, the largest one here in Phuket. It's a white, humongous so beautiful and around it you have the ocean you see the large rock formations you have nice restaurants around it so you can have lunch it's a very very nice spot we are totally seeing a monkey right now <laughs> would that be a given no he's scared of the monkey i'm scared of the monkey <laughs> <laughs> but here you can see Phuket behind me, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even when it's cloudy, you can see you know, the bay and the boats and the, the large rock formations. So excited to visit all the other islands here in Phuket. So we got so into the monkeys, which are the first monkeys we've seen in Asia. Yeah. Pretty cool that we forgot about the, the big Buddha. Buddha, which is right behind us. That's right. This site, again, so, so beautiful. Phuket is such a beautiful island. Such a good first impression of Thailand in general. The Buddha is immensely large. You have all these golden statues underneath it, uh, but also around it you have hearts that make sounds in the wind and you have, um, I guess like a shrine or an altar where they again light incense and all you can see 
statues with twinkling golden hearts. You can see this online, right? You see a picture of it, but it doesn't do it justice until no. you're here. Yeah. The jet lag is also kicking in. I can see Denny's kind of getting tired. I'm just hanging on by a thread. I, th yes. I think I need some food. And we see some really nice lunch spots along the way. So we're going to find one, eat some more Thai food because we've only had breakfast so far. Let's go. Okay, so we stopped at this yeah. restaurant that's right below the big food uh, The reason we stopped here is for the viewpoint. And you can see the entire beach where we're gonna be going next. We're gonna enjoy our food here. Um, we ordered, Denny ordered a Thai omelet and I ordered uh, rice and vegetables. So we're gonna see what that's gonna be like. Yeah, and if you have any food recommendations, throw them down in the co comments because we're going at this blind. Through the case. Nikki's the only person I've ever met that just orders vegetables. Who does that? It has to be someone out there that also just orders a plate of vegetables. If it's you, let me know, but I love it. All right, we can't come to Phuket and not come to a beach. So now we're at Kata Beach. This is still a popular beach on the, on the island, but not as popular as like Patong. Uh, so let's go check it out, see what the water's like. There's a lot of tourists here, but you understand why. Uh, yeah. It's a nice place to kind of spend the day. Yes, you see lots of food stands, lots of spring rolls, which we absolutely love. And the water looks so calm, it's perfect to swim in. You see lots of services like long tail boats for snorkeling, taking you out to other islands. And the sand has a beautiful golden color. So we're now we're walking more to the end where you have less of the chairs and more empty beach. So, so maybe we can find our spot. Yeah, and as you can see, it's more empty right here. <laughs> the water is warm. It's warm, it's awesome. Sand is super thick. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, there's less people here on the back side of Kata Beach. It's really nice, calm vibe. I do love the beach. <laughs> After walking on the beach here and kind of spending the day out in Phuket, it's really blown my expectations. When we had to switch our trip from Bangkok to here, I was, I was reading about Phuket and you know, the reviews where it's very over touristed and expensive, but that's not the vibe that I've gotten at all. It's really chill, it's island life, and I'm looking forward to these next couple of days. Made it to the night market here in Phuket. There's so much going on. It's bigger than I thought it would be. We're now in the clothing section. I see food, live music, jewelry, everything you can think of. Let's explore! I want to try a mochi ball. I want to try some insects. No. <laughs> <laughs> And he just bought some type of insect. I don't know if it's like maggots, but you're, I feel like you're crazy. It's good. I don't, I, don't, I don't even know if this is Thai, but I've always wanted to uh, try that. I don't know what that is. So I was gonna eat crickets, but even though Nikki won't eat this, she wanted me to get the grossest one. So here we, here we go. Oh, it's crunchy. I don't know. That's like a... I don't know, it feels like I just stepped on a roach and ate it, ate it. Ah, uh, it's like right. when, I, when I bit into it, it broke open, like busted open and gushed out. Oh. Like it's guts. <laughs> I'm not I'm not there yet to eat it insects. So, honestly, the only reason I wanted to eat it was because when I was a kid, I always used to watch Fear Factor, right? And they'd always eat bugs and I was like, I could do that. And so and here, here we are, are. Uh, they're, they're cooked though. <laughs> But, and spiced uh, up. No, I can't. I can't say that I recommend them. Maybe it's an acquired taste, but hey, you did it. That. 
I've got something more tasty. A mochi ball. A mochi ball. Okay, so there's a ton of people here. There's a ton of food. You can get your mochi balls. You can get your chicken, your dinner, your sweets, your drinks, your teas. You can get just about anything. And I'm holding up traffic here. But this is really fun. This is everything I expected a night market to be. What do you think, babe? It's awesome. Everyone seems to be here, and I want fried bananas. <laughs> Mochi balls. I think it's like a rice dough. And I'm assuming it's a dessert. I don't know. Oh wow. Very thick and sticky with um, a thick layer of condensed milk on it. It's actually pretty good. Mm, it's taking your minty. And then we basically just got snacks because our lunch was pretty big. And then we have um, coconut pancakes. Mmm, I love this. Oh. That's like your favorite. Coconut. I love coconut. It's crusty and warm. It's gooey. It's delicious. We're gonna leave you here, guys. We're gonna head back to the market and enjoy. See you in the next vlog. Thanks for hanging out with us.